what we are, we're looking at the ignition designer here. Um, I could do this in the client, but there's some things I want to show in the designer. So we'll just stay in the designer here. And it's just a real simple uh, example, but it's covering all the different points that are we're talking about here to do a prediction. So um, we're making a selection of the operator here and product code. And um, we, we have in our system, our MS system, we have a target rate for that product code. But we're going to go out and we're going to get a prediction of what the actual um, production rate will be. And I'll describe the benefits of that in a, in a little bit here. So we're going to get that prediction from Amazon SageMaker, which is up in the cloud, um, which is a machine learning platform that you can use to train and, and create models to uh, get predictions from. And we're going to communicate to Amazon SageMaker using the business connector and the web services module. So let me uh, just select an operator here, select a product. I'm going to go ahead and start a run. And we see our target rate was 120, but it's predicting that we can expect, um, based on our historical data that we used to train, we can expect 116, uh, just over that. So this is, you know, this becomes valuable because this is going to tell us we're probably going to go past our scheduled time for that production run. And we can, and we can start making plans for that. And um, if it's, if it's uh, other things that follow behind it, we can make adjustments, uh, other production runs and stuff. Let me get some other data in there, put something else here. And let me get one more here. Okay, here our target rate is 100, and it's actually our predicted rate is over that. So now we can make plans and stay, you know, start staging the next product that we need to run, get the materials to line or what have you in advance, and we don't have a delay where we're waiting for materials because we finished up early. So it really becomes valuable information. And this is just a simple example, but this is uh, what the types of things that you can do with that. I'm going to go over now to uh, SageMaker here. And um, this is the environment where you have these notebook instances where you create your model and you can uh, do your training of your model and stuff like that. Uh, we have our model down here. And our model is basically the, the mathematical uh, information that we can now calculate our predictions with. And then we have an endpoint. This is going to expose this model to us so that we can access it through um, the business connector or other systems, actually, not just the business connector. So it gives us that URL, and we can make the request up to Amazon SageMaker to get our predictions. And as Kathy mentioned, you have Greengrass where you can put that, you know, once you've trained it, you could put it in Ignition. Um, Ignition's completely capable of that. But depending on your situation, you might want to just make the calls up into it. And that's, that's what this is uh, demonstrating. So the first step that we'll take a look at is the uh, web service. And we have a RESTful configuration of a consumer. And basically, we have our URL there. And we have our data going in and our prediction coming back. So our request is the data, and our response is the prediction. So that's going to actually handle the protocol of going to Amazon, saying, give me the prediction, and getting that result back. But we have to be able to handle that and process that. So now we come over to the business connector. And the business connector has a data flow sequence editor here. So it can get real complicated where you go to ERP system and request material lists and then iterate through those, get the material details, add them to MBS, all that kind of stuff. This is just a real simple sequence. We're going to just make our request up and return the, re the prediction. <clears throat> so you can see where uh, SAP 
connector is here as well, RESTful and, and SOAP and other items are in here. Um, this chart, as we call it, we have parameters. So we're gonna pass in the product code, operator, and target rate. So those were the things that we saw on our example screen, and we're gonna return back the predicted rate. Then we go and we're gonna make our RESTful call. And we're selecting this um, web service configuration there. So we have to pass our parameters in. So we have our operator, our uh, product, product code, and our target rate all passing into the data. And you can drag and drop and map these very simply. I'm not gonna get into that too much, but um, so that's passing our data in before we make the RESTful call. And then afterwards, we get back our prediction and we're gonna put that over into our predicted rate parameter. So you saw no code there. We didn't have to do any scripting or anything like that. I am going to go to the script mod uh, console here that's in Ignition It allows me to execute this chart um, and give you an idea of what, what, uh, how you invoke this. And I have the input parameters and I just hard coded some values. So in the, the sample screen I did first, those were dynamic and it was putting them in. And then uh, we're executing that chart. And this is the chart we're executing. There's our input parameters and I wanna get the predicted rate back. So if I go ahead and execute that, there's my predicted rate for these parameters. So really that's all there is to it. I have this uh, small amount of script um, on. over here when I make these selections and uh, that's how it's going out and getting that predicted rate. So pretty streamlined and simple. Now that information in this predicted rate, we can utilize that over an analysis and start doing, uh, you know, putting it on charts, making dashboards with it, including it in reports. Uh, this is an impromptu analysis here to where you can just make those selections up here and uh, include that in, in what you want to look at. So I hope this kind of demonstrates of all the way from the field devices, getting the data into ignition here. I didn't cover that in detail, um, but then also, you know, what we do with that in MES and how we uh, get a prediction in MES. So all the little mechanics and tools of from plant four field devices all the way up to Amazon SageMaker and back uh, is kind of covered there without too much complexity.